The story begins with a wicked woman who shows Helga, an old lady suffering from memory loss, a strange insect in her apartment. Due to her condition, Helga writes everything on her walls to remember. She sees the helpline number and calls for help. A young man arrives, and upon entering, he notices a foul-smelling liquid leaking from Helga's air conditioner. The man knocks on Helga's door and asks her a question. As soon as she opens it, there's already an emergency van outside your home. If they came to help you, why did you call again? Where are they? Helga, confused due to her memory issues, replies, I don't remember where they are. The man then enters the house to find the insect. Inside, he hears eerie noises from the ceiling and is shocked to find the dead bodies of the two people who had come to help Helga. Before he could react, a giant spider attacks him and drags him into the ventilation system. Helga witnesses this from outside, terrified, and moves to another room. However, because of her memory problem, she forgets everything upon entering the new room and turns on the TV to distract herself. But when the spider's noise frightens her again, she calls the helpline for the third time. The scene cuts here, and we flash back to four days earlier. Four days earlier, a meteor crashed into Helga's apartment from space, and the ventilation pipes often led to her grandmother's house because she had a lot of stuff there. That day, when Helga went to get her toys, she saw a Metroid with a strange spider on it. Charlotte, who loved the spider, killed it and went back home. Charlotte's father was a comic writer, and she usually helped him with his stories. On that day, while he was sketching for his comic, Charlotte added red eyes to the character, suggesting that making the comic evil would sell more. Amidst these childish talks, it becomes clear that Charlotte's stepfather loved her dearly, but Charlotte could never accept him as her real father. Charlotte's mother often visited her grandmother, Helga, to take care of her because Charlotte's father had betrayed her, but Helga had not. She loved Charlotte dearly. Charlotte's father had even betrayed her mother Helga, which deteriorated Helga's mental condition, causing her memory issues. The narrative then shifts to Charlotte, who was observing the spider. As she does so, a bug approaches her, and she kills it with her hands. The spider starts making noise, and Charlotte thinks it might be hungry, so she feeds the dead bug to the spider, which emerges immediately. Charlotte is shocked to see how the spider devoured such a large insect in one go. To test this further, she kills another bug and feeds it to the spider, noticing that the spider's size increases rapidly after eating. Meanwhile, Charlotte's stepfather, who was working on his comic, becomes confused and enters the room to seek Charlotte's help. He sees the jar with the spider and examines it while Charlotte is in the washroom. When Charlotte comes out, she finds her stepfather looking at the jar and tells him that she plans to show the story to her mother. Charlotte says, don't worry, I'll help you, but I need to sleep now. Her stepfather leaves the room and they all go to bed. However, the spider is not satisfied and escapes the jar, looking for a bigger prey. It crawls through the ventilation pipes into the neighboring apartment where it attacks Charlotte's step-grandmother's parrot. In the morning, when the grandmother finds her parrot dead, she screams loudly. Hearing this, Charlotte's father rushes over and discovers the brutally killed parrot. Everyone wonders who could have done this, and the grandmother suggests it might be a rat or some other animal. They call the emergency services, and the rescue officer informs them that the parrot was killed by an insect whose sting, or rather its repeated tongue lashing, had caused its death. They begin spraying insecticide, but when it's Charlotte's turn, she refuses telling the officer that she has a pet spider and cannot spray it. After the officer leaves, Charlotte gets angry at the spider and feeds it more bugs. She notices that the spider is frightened by the mouth freshener she has. Later that night, when everyone is asleep, the spider escapes its jar and enters a woman's room. Her dog starts barking at the spider, and the woman, holding a family photo, goes to check on her dog. Just as she looks at the picture, the spider falls on her, terrifying her. The spider suddenly attacks her face, causing her to bleed. Seeing this in the mirror, she becomes even more scared. The spider crawls into her mouth, killing her. The next morning, Charlotte's mother forbids her from visiting the neighbor's house because there was a man who researched animals. Charlotte shows him the spider and asks for more information. The man, after examining it, tells Charlotte that he doesn't think it's a spider, 
but something else, and he wants to research it further. Charlotte gives him the spider, and after his research, he discovers it's an extremely dangerous species. Later, when Charlotte's father goes to return the dog to the woman, she doesn't answer the door. He uses an emergency key to enter and finds bloodstains and the woman's lifeless body. He calls the police, who conclude that no human was responsible for her death. This frightens everyone in the building, as people start to die without anyone knowing who or what is behind it. Charlotte's neighbor then warns her father that the spider she has is highly venomous and should be released or killed. Charlotte's father, shocked, asks if the spider could kill a human. When the neighbor confirms this, Charlotte's father becomes scared and urges Charlotte to get rid of the spider. Charlotte, however, rudely responds that he is not her father and cannot tell her what to do. She insists on keeping the spider, believing it is harmless. The scene cuts to nighttime. Charlotte takes the dead neighbor's dog home and it starts barking loudly as soon as it sees the ventilation, sensing danger. Meanwhile, Charlotte's second grandmother is shown searching for her missing cat and suddenly she hears the cat's cries coming from the ventilation. When she goes to retrieve her cat, a bug attacks her. Charlotte tries to call for help, but it seems like the grandmother is taking her last breath. At home, Charlotte's parents are arguing, which Charlotte dislikes. So she takes her brother to her room and puts on headphones to block out the noise. During their fight, the giant spider enters their room through the ventilation and attacks Charlotte's parents. When Charlotte realizes she hasn't heard her parents' voices for a while, she goes out to check and finds them missing, with only blood stains in their place. She realizes the spider is responsible for this and decides to kill it to save her family. Knowing that the mouth freshener could kill the spider, Charlotte mixes a large amount of mouth freshener into water and loads it into her water gun. She enters the ventilation system, aware that the spider has killed everyone inside. When Charlotte's father wakes up, he finds himself trapped in a strange web, with his mother, son, and wife also caught in it. He tries to save his mother, but the web breaks and she falls. Charlotte ends up in Helga's house through the ventilation, where she finds her other grandmother's dead body, but still can't locate her parents. When she asks Helga about what happened, Helga, unable to remember, is of no help. Upon arriving at Helga's house, Charlotte smells the mouth freshener and realizes that it might be why the spider hasn't killed them yet. She instructs Helga to stay put and call the helpline. Just then, Charlotte hears her stepfather's voice coming from the elevator. She rushes over and finds him trapped in a web. Using the mouth freshener, she quickly frees him from the web. Charlotte explains to Helga that the mouth freshener's water can kill the spider and break its web. They decide to rescue the others when the scene cuts to the rescue officer who had come earlier to save the parrot. The spider attacks the rescue officer, and upon hearing his screams, Charlotte and her father rush to the scene. Both are badly injured from the spider's attack, but they want to save the officer. However, the spider appears in front of them. Charlotte's father gives her the mouth freshener water, causing the spider to flee. The rescue officer informs them that he has a nail gun, and as soon as the spider reappears, he attacks it with the nail gun, causing blue blood to ooze from the spider. During the fierce battle, the nail gun activates the fire alarm, triggering all the building's water sprinklers. As water rains down, the mouth freshener coating that was protecting them from the spider washes away. Determined to save their family, Charlotte and her father move forward, finding that the spider has dragged her mother and brother into the trash chute. To rescue them, they enter the chute themselves. Charlotte's father tries to activate the chute so that the trash, along with the spider, is expelled from the building. While connecting the chute to the spider, Charlotte's father suffers a severe electric shock and collapses, appearing dead. Before Charlotte can react, she sees the spider approaching and quickly activates the chute. After emerging from the chute, they return to Charlotte's father and find that he was only unconscious. Reviving him, they are all overjoyed. For the first time, Charlotte calls him dad, which surprises him. The family becomes emotional and embraces each other, thinking all their problems are over and that their lives will now return to normal. However, they were mistaken. In this installation, several spider eggs are shown, indicating that the danger has not completely ended yet. 
what was going to happen next, no one knew. With this dangerous and mysterious ending, the story concludes here.